Okay, we're going to have a look at the surface area of a triangular prism. Now, a prism is uh, a 3D solid with a congruent tri uh, cross section. In this case, it's a triangle. Uh, it's an isosceles triangle. Now, how are we going to find the surface area of that? Well, there's a few ways. Uh, you might want to draw a net to try to understand that. That's always a good idea. Something like this. Okay. Now, what you'll notice is that you've got two identical triangles, uh, two identical rectangles, and and then one rectangle on the bottom. That that's uh, it's going to be different. So a good way to, I mean, you could go about writing out the dimensions of this, um, that's fine, but a good way to think about it is to write it, write it down in words. You don't want to rely too much on formulas because uh, the shapes can always, or the problems always change, so let's write it down in words. So here we go, SA, the surface area, is, well, 2 times area of that triangle. Plus, uh, well, we'll call it the uh, rectangles on the side. They're the same, so two times area of the side rectangle plus the area of the base rectangle. Now, the rectangles are pretty easy, but this triangle, let's have a look at it. We'll start there. Uh, so we could label this one. To so let's go ahead and um, and well break it up because any triangle can be broken up into right angle triangles and right angle triangles are the ones we like because they're uh, we can solve those now uh, well if that's uh, bisects that then we know that must be five and that's thirteen. We'll call that H for height. Now, haha, you say? Pythagoras, yes, and you would be right. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. When C is the hypotenuse and A and B are the two shorter sides. So once we've got that, we can substitute. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. A, H, B is five. Okay, so now we've got to solve for H here. Uh, what you've got to do is, uh, well, make H the subject. Okay, so you should get something like this. 13 squared is 169 minus 25. Okay, and as you work down, we find here that's 144. Now, we haven't finished. That's not the answer we want. We want H, not H squared. So we would uh, square root both sides. And get our answer as 12. Which is good. So let's go back and redraw our triangle that we're working on. If if this here is uh, well, um, 12... Okay, the height's 12. Well, now we can use this area of a um, triangle formula. So area triangle equals half times base times perpendicular height. Now we can put that in there. Half times 10 times 12. And we get uh, 560. Okay, 60 units. Now this is going to be square units, isn't it? The units squared. Okay, right, so let's, um, the hard part's done here, basically. We just have to put it all together after we find these rectangles. So, number two, let's work on the area of the side rectangles. And that's uh, length times breadth. And uh, well, so it's 13. Uh, well, 
what, what's it, length is 20 times 13 that's uh, 260 units squared units squared we're talking about area okay so we're nearly there just got one base rectangle to do area of the base rectangle length times breadth is so the length is the same but the breadth now is um, well it's 10 okay remembering okay 20 by 10 okay so what do we get 200 units squared now all that's left to do is to put it all together now remember we had this formula in words we're just going to plug each of these this was number one and this was parts two and this was three so let's put all that together surface area is well um, here we are two lots of 60 plus uh, well two tri uh, rectangles two lots of 260 plus a 200 um, so that's 120 plus 520 plus 200 2720 it's uh, 8 40 now because it's surface area we are definitely talking unit squared and you have your uh, surface area of a triangular prism okay next we're going to look at the uh, surface area of a cylinder so stay tuned